I'm going to show you guys how to use your PSP as a second display. I know, on Windows 7, as uh, as it goes, uh, instead of Windows XP. So let's get to it. Uh, what you will need, you will need PSP display. Uh, this isn't a tutorial on how to install that. Instead, it is a tutorial on how to use it, use your PSP as a second display on Windows 7 instead of Windows XP only. So if you want to, you can stop this video right here and go see a tutorial on how to actually install and run PSP display on your computer. Uh, other than that, let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to PSP display. We're going to click, right click on it. We're going to go to properties. We're going to wait for it to load. It's taking a little bit. Try that again. Come on, computer. Okay, so we're finally here. You go to compatibility. You go, this will be checked, unchecked for you. You need to go and check it. Then you need to go to this drop down bar you need to go to Windows XP Service Pack 3 like so then you click apply and OK but I've already done this so I don't need to next now this is pretty simple you need to right click on your screen if my computer will do it then you need to go to screen resolution you need to click on that Okay guys, so we're back, and what what we're going to do here is, after you've done all that Windows XP stuff, after you've finished the first step, you're going to go to, to Detect Display, or just Detect, right here up at the top. You're going to click on it, and it's going to say Another Display Not Detected. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bar that says Display, you're going to click on it, you're going to go to Available Display Output on AMD Radeon HD69 or, well that's my graphics card. You're just going to go to Available Display Output on, etc. Next you're going to go to Multiple Displays. And then you're going to click on Try to Connect Anyway on VGA. As you can see up at the top, we have a second display, which is our PSP. You're going to I'm guessing click on that, yeah. Okay, now next you're going to... Oh, well, first you're going to click Apply Changes. Next you're going to go to Extend These Displays. Extend These Displays, right here. And uh, the problem I had when I first did this, though, was on my main desktop monitor, it was the second screen. It made it the second screen instead of my PSP being the second screen. So what you're going to do to remedy that is you're going to go down to this uh, where mine says this is currently your main display and you're going to click that box. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see this is not fake. Oh, you, I forgot to click apply. Sorry guys. I totally had a blank moment. I probably already skipped. I probably skipped to this part. So we click apply these changes. Keep changes. Yes, that's pretty much it. So for an example, I'm going to drag this example text over to my PSP. As you can see, I am using it as my second display.
I'll just leave that there. And to ensure you that this is on Windows 7, as you probably already could tell, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Alright, so as you can see, I have Windows 7 Professional, Service Pack 1, Rating, Retrieving System Rating, whatever. We don't need that. Processor not available, installed memory not available. Hmm, that's weird. System type 64 bit. Okay, so it, it popped up. AMD FX, yeah. Installed memory 8 gigabytes. Mm, pin touch, no pin touch. See, as you can see, this is not fake. And this is not some other computer. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag it. If it'll drag, come on. Oh, my computer. Oh, come on. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm dragging it over. And this is the same thing. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoy using your PSP as your new uh, monitor or your second monitor, whichever you use it as, and rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, enjoy. Alright guys, peace out.